We were officially bus owners. Yes. <laughs> hey there, everybody. That crazy woman right there is me, Emily. And this is Austin and our dog, Zeus. We've always had the idea of living in a tiny home and to travel the world. So what better way to combine the two than to transform a bus into a beautiful home on wheels? We wanted to share our journey with you by documenting our build as well as our travels once it's finished. So buckle up and enjoy the ride. So I guess you guys are probably wondering why we're getting a bus. It's probably a good question to ask. It's a little crazy, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, we've already like kind of made routes here. Mm -hmm. So why are we doing it? <laughs> you know, I've always, uh, I've always heard at least parents or even older people say, while you're young, go ahead and travel. Uh, this is just an incredible opportunity for Emily and I to be able to travel wherever we want to go. Uh, we're going to be living completely off grid with this. Uh, we're really just going to be exploring and I think it'll allow our relationship to flourish. It'll give us so many different opportunities that uh, so many others just don't necessarily get. The whole point and vision for me is to show others that this is possible, that it's not, it's not this huge leap of faith, that this is something that if you want to go experience, go experience. I'm just excited to bring oh. you guys with us are and you, you to too? just share all the ups and downs of the build and what we're gonna do with it. All right guys, so we have made it to the bus yard and just wanted to show you guys what the entrance way looks like. Yeah. What is this land that we are beautifully walking this on? This is paradise. This is paradise. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm Gary Fortner, uh, Loganville, Georgia. Uh, buses at Loganville. Right. And I sell buses. I also wanted to point out that Gary doesn't just sell buses, he also sells the parts themselves. He has basically everything that you can think of for a car. We're excited. Can you tell a little bit about the bus that we actually got and picked out today? Uh, just some like the specs and what kind of model it is. It's a 2014 uh, 6.8 gas engine uh, in excellent condition. It's got air ride suspension. We took it for a test drive earlier on the bumpy road. Did, yes. the, did the suspension test. And everything worked out just fine. That's good. Uh, but we, uh, we're excited and as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Same here. We're gonna be able to actually walk you through some of the buses uh, that we went inside to determine whether it was too small, too big, if we'd be able to live out of it or not. Uh, just to give you a glimpse of potentially what bus you think you could fit inside and do this on your own or with your loved one. Okay, so in front of us you see a Thomas full-length bus. This is something that Emily and I personally did not want to do, but we did want to give you a glimpse as to what one looks like. Come on, hey, let's go, let's go. All right, let's go. So a majority of people have been on a school bus before, uh, but there's a couple different things that people do with this. Number one, since the height is an issue, they will tend to actually saw the bus in half and then raise it uh, for a couple additional inches of height. Raise the roof. Yeah, <laughs> hey, raise it up. <laughs> um, but there are windows everywhere, and a lot of people actually choose to fill in some of these window spaces to give them a little bit more privacy. So for us personally, once again, this was just a little bit too long. I mean, this is, hi buddy. <laughs> uh, just a little bit too lengthy for us. I mean, at this point, the bed, if we even tried to be luxurious, could be up to this point. You could put in uh, potentially showers, a closet. Uh, you do have wheel wells that you will have to build on top of as well. Um, but for us, we just felt like this was too much. We didn't need this much space. Uh, and this way, if we did get a shorter bus, <laughs> Emily's been on a few of those. Then, which no, is, I haven't. <laughs> which is why we wanted to look at maybe the five or six window 
uh, buses. So we will show you a glimpse of what those look like as well. So behind me, you actually see a five window bus. This is actually the size that I believed Emily, myself and Zeus could fit inside until we got here and we took a look inside. Come on in guys. Here is the five window bus. It has an entrance in the back. Uh, my, thought were, my thought is you could pretty much put a bed back here. You can do like a futon couch where it's like a couch and it slides out into a bed. For those of you that don't know what that is. Uh, you could do a kitchen counter right here. A cool little like reading area you can put a table it's pretty spacious um we just needed a little bit more room originally i wanted a sprinter van and since austin is claustrophobic he felt like we needed a school bus fortunately enough we were able to meet in the middle by finding the perfect shuttle bus these next few clips will not only include the one that we chose but some of the others that we took a look at there are so many great options, and we just wanted to show you a few more that might be your future home. Alright guys, behind me we have a Chevrolet 5500 shuttle bus. It's slightly bigger than the one that we bought, but let's just go ahead and take a look inside just to see maybe it's the right fit for you. Alright, just first off, I want to point out the color if you can see the color. <laughs> this is ideally the color that we want for our bus along with an accent color, maybe like a light gray, white, something like that. We haven't really worked out all the details. I just know I love this color. <laughs> wow. As you can see, it definitely has a lot more room. Um, more options available. You can literally have a full-size bathroom in here, preferably back here, right next to the bed area. It's got the handicap windows. You can do a super long couch, an awesome kitchen. If you're a top chef like me, then that's ideal. You can have a closet. You can literally have two closets in here. You can have whatever you want. So why did we not go with this bus? Okay, we didn't go with this bus because Austin doesn't want to drive it as well as me. I'm going to do majority of the driving. And I don't want to have to drive something this big. It just, it really just seems like a recipe for disaster. And I don't want to have to do with that. Yeah, you have to unlock it. <laughs> okay. We'll just go through the back door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work for us. But maybe it might work for you. The reason why I wanted to go over this one is the handicap uh, door is right next to the other door. And for me personally, I think it didn't make sense to have two doors right next to each other. Uh, so we personally went with a handicap door in the back of the bus. Um, but I do want to show you guys inside why this makes a difference potentially in the bus that you're looking to convert. All right, so let's take a look. So for me personally, once again, I like to have easy access when I am leaving my bus or entering my bus. And whenever you look at this, there is no entrance possible or exit possible in this back end area, which means your only three point of entrances are up at the front of the bus. If you like the feeling of being more secure, then that's okay too. But if you do have the vision of having that uh, bed looking out over the water and the mountains and opening up those doors, I doubt you're going to put your bed at the front of the bus. Uh, so for me personally, I just felt like it was kind of uncomfortable here. We wouldn't know exactly if we were to put a, a kitchen here or a shelf here. Uh, it just didn't necessarily look like a proper fit. So this is a different part of the property that Gary owns. He has about 95 acres of land and 
basically 90% of them are buses. There's so many. There's literally so many to choose from. <laughs> This is our beautiful 2014 Glavel shuttle bus. So excited to show you guys the plans that we have for inside. So let me just go ahead and uh, Ooh. show you what's inside. This is the captain's chair, which will obviously be upgraded. Do you know what this is? It's a toilet paper. <laughs> No, everybody may be short on toilet paper right now, but this is not toilet paper. This is actually our title to this bus that we are in right now. Did just want to show you guys the inside. We did purchase this for $10,000. It does have a new transmission. Uh, it does have a new engine and it does have an air ride suspension as well. So it was a really great deal. But uh, just on the inside, this is kind of some space that we'll probably build out into some sort of shelving unit. Uh, then we do have an electrical box here as well that uh, this does already come with AC with heat uh, and is very nice honestly will make our make our process a lot easier um, then once when you get inside this space so as we talked about earlier we did want to have the handicap door for easy access so that way we don't have to always exit out the front we do have an exit out here uh, we'll probably end up just building our bed this kind of length. Um, so therefore we will be able to open this up and enjoy the outdoors if we need to. We'll probably build it up on a loft space. So we'll have a little bit of storage underneath here that you can either pull out front ways or pull out through the side. Uh, we do not have a back door, but this is actually something we preferred to do simply because we didn't want to have too many points of interest. Uh, it was just something that we felt was a need. So then afterwards you do still have these, <sighs> <laughs> what are these called? The, the wheel wells. The wheel wells, yeah. So we're going to have to incorporate this into our build to make sure that uh, we do this and we utilize this space properly. Or properly. Uh, so whether it's building a couch here, whether it's putting a closet here. I do know Emily wants a closet so that way she <laughs> has all the space that she could possibly have for all those clothes. But the shower and the toilet is always that interesting little leeway. So potentially behind the, or behind the driving seat, we're going to build in a shower as well as placing a composting toilet in there. Uh, there's just so much possibilities with this room. It's something that we feel like is manageable. It still fits in a parking space, possibly even two. We'll have to check that one out. Um, but yeah, we're just excited. It, it's freaking incredible and we get to start the journey from scratch. So you guys are along for the ride and get to see what this entire process looks like. I just want to encourage those who have debated on doing this or possibly doing this uh, and really show you that this process isn't that difficult to live the life of freedom that you choose to. All right, so this is our final bus that we are gonna be giving you a tour of today. As you can see, there is a lovely it's front a view. Beautiful and engine. In the back, there's a nice open air breeze through the driver's seat window. Um, it even comes with a nice dust pan to I mean, we, we like it. Well, guys, I hope you truly enjoyed our very first episode. If you did and want to follow along on our journey, be sure to show us some love by hitting that like button and subscribe to our new channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time when we start day one of demolition.